There's a rumor that bullets made from teeth can kill without a trace, because the teeth supposedly fragment on impact into so many pieces that even forensic experts can't find evidence. To test that claim, the team made three kinds of tooth-based projectiles. Tori handled the shotgun load. Since a shotgun shell contains many pellets, his approach was simple. Crush the teeth and load the fragments into shells. Kaylee made handgun rounds. She picked teeth of roughly the right size, shoved them into cartridge cases, and glued them solid. But the irregular shapes didn't fly true and the rounds tended to veer off. Grant took on rifle rounds and was far more meticulous. He carefully shaped each tooth to closely resemble a proper bullet. For comparison, he also carved a bone projectile from cow bone at a one-to-one -one scale. With all three designs complete, they ran shooting tests. First up was Kaylee's 38 handgun round. Tori fired it remotely, but because the surface wasn't smooth, the tooth round went off course and only reached about 21 feet. Grant's rifle round was next. The target showed no penetration at all, because the rifle's much greater power pulverized the tooth into dust before it even left the barrel. They then tested the cowbone round. It still tended to deviate, but performed noticeably better than the tooth rounds. Finally, they tried Tori's tooth-loaded shotgun. The fragments hit the target, and the spread matched that of real shot. To evaluate the actual damage, they moved on to test number two using pig carcasses. Pig muscle is roughly analogous to human tissue. The cow bone rifle round penetrated deeply and left a large cavity in the skin. On a fresh carcass, the tooth shotgun produced multiple small holes from the fragments. They sent wound samples to a forensic pathologist who had been kept blind to the experiments. The pathologist retrieved and reassembled fragments from the wounds and concluded the injuries were gunshot wounds. Lethal. The team's conclusion, using teeth or bone to make bullets does not hide the truth. 